Yo, what's going on guys? PS Gaming here bringing you another Grand Cross video. And this video is going to be different. I'm going to be going over uh, basically how to maximize the amount of gems um, that you can get and that you can earn. So that way you can get, you know past uh 300 because with if you follow everything that i'm about to tell you 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 basically should be able to get over 300 gems come lost vein meliotis so yeah without any uh, like without further ado let's just get into it right so with the purchases purchases are mainly for people who spend on the game you don't have to be omega level well you don't even have to be um a dolphin but if you do want to buy certain packs right That'll help you get the most out of your gems as well. So let's just start with the monthly pack. So if you start from now, today is the 19th, right, of August. If you start from now, you should be able to get up to 105 gems. Come Los Emiliotis. Uh, this is all, everything varies as well. Please don't take what I say as gospel. Everything will vary depending on when you watch this video, depending on when you get started, depending on even if Lost Man comes out um, during the um, half year. He, he, he is, he's confirmed, but it also depends on the date of his release. So if he releases, let's say September 1st, this could all change. I'm going on if he comes out September 3rd, literally the half year of when the game released, right? So just keep that in mind. So yeah, with the monthly pack, you should be able to get 105 gems, right? And that is just with the monthly pack. And that's only for 25 for years, but that's not bad at all. That's really not that bad. So if you buy the monthly pack, you will be sitting at 105 gems right then and there. That is, that's honestly amazing and i would suggest that you actually buy that pack right because that'll give you the most value out of your gems as well and out of your money so right there and then that's really good so we start from the if we get the weekly pack right so that's what we're going on next if you get the weekly pack if you buy um two of the weekly packs which you should if you start today you should be able to get two weekly packs you should be able to get 118 gems for 847 right 847 if you times that by two right that's how much money you'll be spending that is amazing 118 gems within two weeks of his release that is literally amazing you're already looking at over 200 gems just just right there and you didn't even spend more like you literally are at less than 50 dollars spent that is incredible you should definitely take advantage of that right there because you that it's just it's just incredible like you're not even spending fifty dollars and you're already getting over 200 plus gems and if you combine that with the free to play gems right on the screen and if you follow everything right 249 gems is what i calculated right now uh, of course it varies right but you'll be sitting at over 400 gems 400 gems and you only spent what maybe like 40 40 something dollars you're you're looking good you're really looking good for his uh, banner right now. So again, more with the purchases. This is again, this is more for right now. This is more for the um, the people who do spend in the game, such as myself and others, right? So free to play players, this may not be for you. But if you want to, if you want to watch this portion of the video, um, yeah, you, you definitely should. If you think if you're thinking about buying for Lost Vein, this is what. I think it will be the best for you if you buy the monthly and uh, the weekly pack twice, right? The two weekly packs, you should be able to get over 200 gems. So then we get to a little bit more, um, I don't want to say controversial, but we get into a little bit more of a, a gray area with the diamond step ups. So with the diamond step ups, I find them to be amazing, but others, others might not. Me, myself, I have bought these, but... If you don't want to buy it, uh, you know, that that's completely understandable. It is pretty expensive once you buy all three. But if you buy step up one and two, that wouldn't be bad either. Because right there, you're at 190 gems combined with the uh, monthly and two weekly pack. You're already, you're literally already looking at close to 400 gems or already at 400 gems, right? So you're going to get a lot out of it, but it is expensive because then you'll have to spend, if you buy all three, $152 uh, roughly. This is American dollars, by the way. It, the, the money currency changes wherever you are. This is US currency, right? So $152.61, right? But if you buy just uh, the step up one banner, or the step up one diamond, 
purchase bundle or whatever you're you you know you're just spending that you know like 20 23 99 which goes to 25 43 plus taxes right so again it all varies on what you buy so if you buy the monthly pack and two week uh the two weekly pack bundles right and if you buy some of the step up diamonds you're looking good already right there is good unfortunately when it comes to purchases it becomes a little bit more like um black and white right because you don't know how much you want to spend obviously you don't know what there is going to be able to spend because this right here the purchases will change i'm actually going to keep this updated on my twitter so if you want to go on my twitter uh follow me black strike underscore 31 right i am going to be updating this um as more bundles come out and more events come out so you should like th you, this is not like conf like this is not the solidified version of the purchases at all there's probably going to be more uh bundles come out probably the next update we get which should be goxenia i'm a, i'm like i'm assuming it's gonna be goxenia it's kind of weird if it isn't but before lost in meliotis comes out we definitely will be having more bundles the bogo packs will reset um the diamond step ups should reset before lost vein meliodas comes out if you already bought the diamond step ups do not worry they should be back before lost main meliodas comes out in case you were uh gonna buy them right and uh the hawk pass also gives you 32 gems and that's only for 847 so again you combine this you you can do the math of what you're going to do this is literally just my spreadsheet of the purchases that are out now this day the 19th of august right this is just my little uh spreadsheet that i'm using i'm using the gems i'm using the monies right i'm just combining them all and in total let's say you do buy all of this before lost Emilios comes out without no extra bundles or whatever right you're looking at 1047 gems so right there you can do a full rotation on meliodas banner it is pricey 360 dollars but assuming you have the money to do it why not? And the Bogos do vary as well. I meant to put that in there, but the Bogos do vary as well because we have a Bogo pack going on now. We'll have one going on when Gloxinia comes out. And then we will most definitely have one when Meliodas comes out. So again, it varies. I myself do not suggest buying all the Bogo packs for all three weeks. That is, it's not worth it. That is your dad you're spending too much money then like unless you have money saved up or unless you're um omega well level like c and don't buy all the bogo packs <laughs> in my opinion you should just stick with the monthly pack the two weekly pack and um the step up diamonds you get more uh diamonds from uh the step ups than you do bogos actually so you get 200 and, or not 200 you get 430 total gems from buying all the diamond step ups and you only get 394 from buying all the bogos right and you you literally are spending more on the bogos than you are on the diamond step ups which i think is stupid if you go for bogos you, like that is not that is not the right move that's not the smart move you should go for the diamond step ups because you're going to be spending less money it is a lot 152 dollars that is not cheap <laughs> but you will be spending less money on that than you will the bogos which is 165.31 right so you should always go for the diamond step ups if you if you have them if you have a little extra spending money then you can think about buying the uh, bogo packs right but again this all varies this is not solidified you know you can you can make up your own mind but this is just in general this isn't like i'm nitpicking the specifics this is just general right so a thousand and forty seven gems in total if you do all these purchases right and the total money spent right estimated is 360 dollars if you only buy the one bogo pack or if you only buy um you know actually yeah it just depends on the bogo packs so if you buy one bogo pack it's 360 dollars if you buy more than that it's gonna skyrocket up to maybe five to six dollars that's that's all up to you though that it's your money you can do what you want right again i'm not nitpicking this is just general so then we get to the free-to-play gems right so the free-to-play gems you got your regular login which is six gems so six gems you'll be able to get from your regular login bonus unfortunately if i'm thinking right when lost way melios comes out you're only going to be able to get six gems maybe maybe nine because he he does drop on uh, assuming he comes out on the actual half year he does come out on i believe 
it is yeah it's thursday the third the of september so that's a thursday so maybe nine gems possibly so six to nine gems give or take right i would be go i would go with the six just to be safe i'm not trying to get anyone's hopes up right but i am trying to make you guys realize if you just save consecutively you will be able to get more gems in the long or save more gems in the long run right and you'll be able to get more um uh, summon value off Lost Mean Melios banner, right? And this is just this, these free to play gems are just for what we have right now. More events will come out in the future, I'm sure. Uh, we just have that 20 million uh celebration, a thing that they released on Twitter. So, yeah, you can get a lot more. So, again, speaking about the 20 million special download celebration, right? You got this special login bonus that they have, so you can get 30 gems this whole week. You save your gems, you get 30 gems. That's great. Please don't spend them. You get 30 gems and that's enough for a multi at least, at the very least, right? So it's really good. And a bunch of other special rewards that are on the login bonus, right? So then your knighthood. If you are actually able to get a gem every day from now in your knighthood, you should be able to get 16 gems come Meliodas when he comes out. Assuming he comes out on the third, again, assuming he comes out on the third, 16 gems, right? So, with the final boss, Melly and Elizabeth, as long as you place, I believe it's Tom... I'm, forgive me if I'm wrong, right? Um, I believe it is top 15 or 10%. You should be able to get 35 gems, and then that's it. 35 gems, which is really good, and it's not hard at all to get that high, as long as you are smart about your plays, and you know, there's various guides you can watch. You will be able to get 35 gems. Again, that is really really good so please make sure you guys are saving your gems save those gems because you're not you're gonna regret it if you don't i'm just saying if when gloxinia if he comes out next week right if he replaces monspeed's banner do not summon on him please do not summon on him right you will regret it okay just, i'm just saying all right so then we get to the pvp rewards right so this is where it becomes a little bit iffy i myself is i'm gonna get 100 gems because I am in champion five right now. So I'm myself, I'm going to get 100 gems. So that's, uh, yeah, so 50 gems. And yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm right, I'm right. I, I had to second, <laughs> I second guess myself. So yeah, 100 gems when Nelson May Melios comes out. This is consecutively because 50 right now and then 50 another, or, or 50 this week and then 50 the next week. And then I should be able to get 100 gems, right? So yeah, it uh, it varies depending on which rank you're in. So you can calculate it there. If you're higher, you know you obviously you'll get higher, you get higher gems. If you're lower, you get lower gems, unfortunately, right? So just make sure you grind. I say you want to at least get to gold three because then at least you'll be able to get uh, sixty gems. Sixty gems come lost in Meliodas from the PVP rewards itself, right? All right. So then we get to the daily task missions, right? So, if you do all your daily task missions from now to when Lost Free Melios comes out, you should be able to get 64 gems. 64 gems. It could be less depending on when he releases, but 64 gems is what I think, right? If he comes out on a third is what you can get to. That, that's really good. So again, save up your gems. You want to save as many gems as possible. You want to make sure you can at least do a, a rotation right so then the story mode gems also varies because if you've been uh not doing story mode that that kind of is an advantage for you but at the same time it's like a double-edged sword because then you have to do more content <laughs> and you have to go through the story mode again and it, it is a pain right to get those 30 but if you go straight through you could get a lot of gems you really could get a lot of gems probably around in the 300 330 range you could that that is possible right hall pass is two gems if you do free to play it's not that it's not that good but gems are gems you got your sp dungeon ad rolls assuming you get three every time you could get up to uh of like 60 you know 65 you get a you get a lot you get a lot of gems from the ad roll but that is rng based so don't count on that right i myself don't do that i think it's kind of pointless but if you're free to play it is it does have value to you right me myself no village chest so uh I put cheats. What the? Why did I spell it? Chest. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> that was a typo. But village, village chest. So this one is a little iffy, right? I looked up to see like if there's a daily number you could reach. I, I guess it's six. I guess they did something they, they, and they changed it. So it's only six 
per village so um or one per village right so that's six a day so if you do the village chest you get 96 gems 96 gems from doing village chest it's a pain because you got to go into every village break chat excuse me break chest but it is worth it in the long run because 96 gems is a lot so 96 is a lot that that is good and then it just um the dev notes came out a couple hours ago early in the like early in the morning the equipment here five rewards are gonna be coming i do think before lost familios comes out and they they said themselves that it also counts for the ones you've done before so if you have a lot of equipment that's tier five you're gonna be getting a lot of gems if you have none you get no gems if you have a little bit you get a little bit of gems it's it's um it varies on how much equipment you have so a lot of this is variables right so you could get more or less than the total which is 249 gems you can get more or less right i do believe you're gonna get a lot more than 249 i think over like over the course of these next two two to three weeks and then when lost main meliodas drops out comes out you could get a total of maybe 400 gems maybe 400 gems free to play right it also depends on when it comes out so please don't take this as gospel right this is just a brief overview of what you should and what you can do to get the the maximum amount of gems right and please i i do think if you have the money you should you know you should spend at least on the, the weekly pack or the monthly pack if you have the money if you don't that's a complete up to you if you're completely free to play that you know props to you you know you don't gotta buy it. you know there's other ways obviously there's other ways you can get gems right but yeah this is what i think um what you, you should do is buy the monthly pack buy the weekly pack twice because you should be able to get it buy at least up to step two diamonds and then buy the hawk pass obviously if you haven't bought it already buy the hawk pass right you should do all of this stuff to grind up the gems and then you're, you're looking good you're looking good so again this the, all of this varies there's going to be a lot more purchases when lost amelius comes out even when galaxinia drops out or, or comes out right there should be a lot more purchases so again this is just a basic overview and i again i will be putting this on twitter i'll update it I'll update it frequently um, uh, to see what bundles comes out or whatever. You know, so make sure you follow me on the Twitter. It should be on the top right corner, right? That'll be my at. You can follow me there, and I'll update it as frequently as possible, right? So yeah, this is basically what you should be able to get: 249 gems plus or or, or less. And I, I don't even think I took into the PvP gems for myself. So for me, that'd be 349 gems for me. But again, it, I, I'm gonna keep saying it, it varies. So don't take my word as gospel. But yeah, you should be able to get 249 plus if you are, if you are um, PvP, you know, grinding PvP, if you are doing all of this, 249 plus, I say about 300 plus gems, right? Plus the PvP rule. So you'll be looking good. So yeah, that that's pretty much it all I got for you for this video. You can pretty much just like assume by looking at the list how much you, you're gonna spend, how much you're gonna do, right? It's all up to you. But that's pretty much all I got for you for this video. So if you did enjoy, consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe for more Grand Cross content. And if you're new to the channel, please drop your boy a like and subscribe. It'll help me out greatly. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next